Hi everybody, I'm going to be showing you guys a strategy that I've been using in the Diamond League for Terran vs. Terran matchups quite extensively, and it actually works fairly well, and I really don't see it used quite often, and the strategy is called the 7-8 Barracks Rush, and what that entails is quite simply, you're going to get a Barracks at 7 supply, you're going to get a Barracks at 8 supply, and then you're going to push out with as many Marines possible as early as possible. And so we're doing here, now it's important to note that in this map, you know, there's obviously two spawn locations. Uh, this still will work. This is a 1v1 strategy, Terran vs. Terran, but it still will work on four spawn location maps. And what you do in that case is you just sent your first guy out to scout. Now, I really don't have to do this in this game, but what I'm doing it, what I'm doing is I'm doing a proxy variant of, of the rush, where, whereas basically I'm going to move this SCV out to about here, and I'm going to build the barracks here. So you could imagine if this was a four-person map, I could be sending this guy out to scout, and um, he'll he'll most certainly find the the enemy um, well before we're we're ready to push out. So we're gonna continue here and see what we're doing. So we're at seven supply. Here we go. We're dropping our first barracks down at seven supply. We're gonna be building uh, a, another SCV shortly. There we go. And we've got this guy just sort of chilling out here. Um, this is where we're opting to to proxy. Now it's very important that. You, you really don't want to uh, clue the person in on um, what you're doing. You don't want them to see two barracks early on. If they see two barracks, they're probably going to hard counter the strategy. And the way they're going to hard counter it is they're going to put a, a bunker on their ramp. And since we're pushing out so early with Marines, they're really the only thing they can do, assuming they go the, the standard build. So we see here this guy, he's getting a barracks after his depot at about at 13 supply. So he's going the standard opening. The majority of Terran players do go the standard opening. So we're going to take advantage of that fact by going 7-8 racks. So we got our second racks uh, built here and we got our, our two Marines queued up. Now it's important that we go in with two because what's going to happen with this build, assuming they go the standard build, what's going to happen is you're going to push in with two Marines and they're going to have one just popped out. It's going to work out that they're going to have their first Marine just recently popped out and you're going to go in with two and you're going to be able to kill this first marine and you're going to be waypointing in more from those two barracks now usually using this build I'm going to get eight we're going to get eight total SCVs, seven eight barracks and after you get your two barracks up immediately queue these first two marines up up like we're doing now now we want to build after this we want to build a depot and I find in these matches that yeah, I, I, I find in these matches you really only need two depots which will give you a total of 27 supply and you want to get to that point as soon as possible so you can just forget about depots and focus all your effort on micro so we get our two two marines queued up we got our first marine here Gangway, and we get in our second one now we're going to be building a depot shortly so he's, he's popping a depot down alright so we're going to push in now it's important to note that you know right around this time we, we're liable to get scouted okay now the beauty of putting our barracks here is if we get a scout, he's only going to see one barracks, okay? And if he sees two barracks, my, I find in, in Diamond League play that if they see two barracks this early in, on their game, in, in the match, they're most likely going to put a bunker right on their ramp. And if they put a bunker on their ramp, we're screwed, the strategy's not going to work, and you're probably going to lose because your economy is, is, is at a great disadvantage using this. But since they're only going to see one, they're probably not going to detect this. Now, it's also important to note that another variant uh, instead of proxying the second barracks, you could possibly hide the barracks, you know, maybe up here or down here. I mean, this probably isn't the best map for it because the base is kind of small. But you can also hide your second barracks. But but I definitely uh, I insist that if you're going to try this strategy, please do not let your opponent see those two barracks. Make it as difficult as possible for him to see the two barracks. So, all right, so we get, we're, we're almost done our, our second, uh, second uh, Marine. We're building our depot. Now, once we get this next Marine out, we're going to be pushing in with these two Marines. There we go. We're pushing in. All right. Now, we got 55 minerals. Building another barracks. Now, as soon as we can, we want to throw down another another supply depot, we'll, we'll, which will bring us up to a total of 27 supply uh, total. And we want to get there as quick as possible because we really don't want to be worried about microing our units. There we go. We're throwing down that next supply depot. That's going to bring us to 27 supply. Now, that's really going to that's going to buy us a lot of time. So, really, we're going to focus all our effort on this attack. All right, here we go. So, he's got one Marine. As you see, he's got one Marine. 
And we've got two Marines. And this is going to happen so fast because most likely this guy is going to be, you know, he's not expecting this. He's focused on it. You see, he's got two gas. This is a heavy tech build. And, and, and believe me, I've seen this in Terran versus Terran matchups in Diamond League play. I see this time and time again. They go heavy gas. They're, go, they're going Mac. They're planning for the, the typical, you know, Viking tank uh, matchup where you got to get quick tanks, quick Vikings. Vikings, you got to tech up fast. So we're going to take it full advantage of this. So we got two two Marines, and these two Marines are just going to take out this one Marine real quick. All right, so they're just fortifying. Now, now he'll probably move back. That was a smart thing he did. He moved back. But, you know, we got more Marines coming because from this point on, this whole game, you you have to be constantly producing Marines. We're going to be constantly pre producing Marines out of this barracks. We got We're going to get a total of, once this thing's done right here, we're going to get a total of 27 supply, which is going to give us a, a, a good good number of, of, of Marines. So we we did kill that Marine. Uh, we're bringing in, bringing in another Marine. Another two Marines. And we see Marines. He's, he's queuing up Marines, too. They're going to pop out. So it's important, to, it's important here in this case, you know, don't get too aggressive. When you, when you push in with the Marines, we have right here, we have the numerical advantage, okay? We've got four Marines. He's got one Marine. You know, he's not going to take us out with those Marines. So we want to we wanna fortify his, his choke point because the worst thing that he can do, the only thing that really can get us at this point is if he chokes, if he puts a bunker down at that choke point for preventing us from getting in. So we have that, we have that fortification. So we're just going to hang out here. We're going to kill his depot here. Now, early, early on, early on in a game like this, you know, he's, this is, these are his only two depots. So, you know, if we supply cap him, that's going to really be, he's going to really be in trouble because he's got quite, quite a few SCVs. You know, he's got two, two geysers mined out. All right, so we're going to continue here. So, so we see we got all these Marines. He's trying to heal. He's going to, we're going to take, we almost taken that that next. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna push in and try to take that uh, his marine out. We took his marine out. We're just sort of scouting around. All right, now he brings his SCVs in. Now it's important with the strategy. You know, if they bring their SCVs, do not underestimate the attack ability of SCVs. If they if they bring their SCVs, unless you got a ton of guys, just run. I think the best thing is to run. And as you see here, this happens all happened so fast. So what he simply did is he's highlighted all of his SCVs on minerals and he sent them to attack. So. You know, it's really no no big loss if we're running away while he's chasing while well, he's chasing us with SCVs because those SCVs are mining, and if they're not mining, they're not getting money, and he's not going to be able to build units. All right, so we're just going to run up. We're just going to run with these Marines. Here we go. We're running. Now, eventually, he's got to turn these guys around. He just turned them around, so we're gonna we're gonna move back in. Now, just keep pushing back in. Don't let him. No, he's going again. Oh, we're gonna run again. No. Yep, we're running again. Just keep running. Now you can try to get fancy. You can cut him around a bit. So we're pushing in again. So now, see, that was sort of a missed micro there with his SCVs. He let a lot of those SCVs die, so we're pushing in a bit. Oh, we see a bunker here. Okay, we're not going to engage the bunker. Be careful. But but this bunker right here, this bunker right here is really not going to do much because he's really going to need more bunkers than that because he's, I mean, we can still attack this. We can still come over here, attack the SCVs. We can get this. We can, this guy, we can take the uh, factory out. So that, that bunker is really not going to do much since we've got range units here. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus down this next depot to supply cap him because that's his only depot he has so that's really going to supply cap and hurt him we're going to try to take this bunker out i mean this uh this barracks out no we're not going to be able to take it out no, so we're, we're moving around we're going to we're going to take this uh, he's trying to throw a tech lab down on that so we're, we're going to come around we're going to take his his guys route we're just going to we're just going to play on the outskirts of this base you know harass him you know kill as much as we can uh, now we're aiming at the uh at the command center. Now, keep in mind that we're continually massing Marines out of those two barracks. We just do not stop massing Marines. If you see, we've only got 24 supplies, so we've got quite a few Marines coming. So he's bringing his SCVs, he's taking his SCVs out, so he's not going to attack us with the SCVs. He's pretty much, he's pretty much going to be lost this game. So, there you have it. So this, this is a strategy that I've been using um, quite extensively on Terran vs. Terran play in the Diamond League. I've, I've been beating a number of fairly decent opponents. Uh, I've beaten a number of 1,000-point-plus uh, Diamond players. I've beaten, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm really doing quite well with the strategy, and it's very simple to do. And all you do is you build um, a barracks at 7 supply, and then you build a barracks at 8 supply, and you have 8 total SCVs in the game. and do not go any more than 8 SCVs. And I find that 2 depots is pretty much all you need. And usually what I do is I'll, I'll um, 
build after I get the my both barracks up. After I get my first barracks up, I'm sorry. I will build. I'll queue up the two marines, and then after the two marines, as soon as I get the money, I will build my first depot, and then shortly after that, I'll get my second depot, and I'll have two barracks up, constantly producing marines, waypointing them in his base, and um, and that's it. And I'll just focus on attacking. And the uh, important important things to note are, you know, you'll have you most likely have the numerical advantage, assuming they go the standard build. So make sure you, you maintain that new numerical advantage, and if they, if they run at you with SCVs, run away. But make sure you come, come right back in. So I hope you, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys try this out, because it, it really does work quite well. All right.